Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to the Adventure Incorporated Podcast. I am your Dungeon Master, Anthony Reed. This is episode 180. It is the 11th episode of the Path of Illusion, Vault of the Kingmaker. So this is going to kind of be like a epilogue. That's the word, an epilogue. Um, and so it's kind of Path of the Illusion. It's kind of Vault of the Kingmaker. Uh, but we're just going to keep it in this lumped into the same group. Uh, this one and the next one. And then we'll move on. This episode is brought to you by Tony, Phil, Kim, Darek, Andrew. Some of these names might sound pretty new to you. If they do, that's because we've gotten a whole bunch of brand new patrons in the last couple months. And we are so so thankful for everything that our patrons do that also means this month we will be having a tavern night uh at the end of the month so we don't have a date set for that yet keep an eye on facebook and twitter but there will be a live tavern night uh ready for you so come check it out uh, if you're not in the discord come hang out in the discord we always love chatting and hanging out and having fun there uh, there's all kinds of cool stuff to see at adventuringpod.com. I am, I'm th- we're just going to start. Let's get started, you know? Nobles and farmers, knights and wenches, gather round, gather round to hear a tale of excitement and mystery. Brave adventurers facing grave dangers. Keth, the fighter monk. Like, usually when you bring people back from the dead in books, it turns out really bad. That's just to sell more books. <laughs> Gibetto, the rogue. God, it's so good uh, to see something positive happen. Um, God, I'm so glad to be back home. You know, let's make sure we get Clug fixed up, then we'll have two under our belts. This guys. is awesome. Genevera, the sorcerer. Genevera, uh, you I, are a powerful <laughs> sorcerer capable of uh, very strong magics. This is the first time someone acknowledges how good I am at magic and it's like, convict me of a fucking crime? What the shit? Gillick, the paladin warlock. Can we find you, like, something else to tap into instead? Yeah. What, give him four levels of warlock? Are you shitting me? <laughs> <laughs> and Asher, the druid barbarian. Uh, Asher, like, puts his hand on Jemetto's shoulder. This is the most affectionate you've ever seen, Asher. (laughs) (laughs) Let us recall what happened before. Uh, yeah, Jibeto, like, puts out a hand because he doesn't know how this works. Mm -hmm. So that, like, we can all, like, yeah, hands in the middle. Captain Planet it. And then he grabs a stone and kisses it. Okay. There is, (laughs) there is a flash of silver that is overtaken by a flash of green. And then that green fades away to the inside of the illusionary scroll hideout. In Verena. Prepare yourselves, for this is the tale of Adventure Incorporated. So, uh, the five of you are in the hideout of the Illusionary Scroll. Uh, it is currently empty. Uh, Genevera scans the room for if. Eridar has one of those tear away joke a day calendars or some shit like <laughs> that we can tell the date without having to wait for him to come back. Uh, yeah, it's all Ziggy cartoons. <laughs> no. Great. <laughs> What's it's the cursed. date? <laughs> uh, no. Um, so you find a rudimentary um, like a big arcane calendar that he has been using to uh, determine moon cycles and uh, other important arcane things. Uh, and you can determine from this uh, that it is still the same day you left. Oh, oh. hell yeah. Duh. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. We should, we should no. go out of here. Well, remember that we need a bit of a rest. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Gaelic's I, I almost dead. Yep. Yep. Um, do you think we can camp out here? Do you think it heard Eridar would care? No, I think I think that's. Let's do it. Kind Here's, of the point yeah. of this place. 
I think I could use a good eight hours. Yeah. Yes. yes. Cool. That's just how I feel. Okay. Yeah, I also feel awful. Let's set up a watch. Eridar walks in. Oh, uh, hey. Oh, you're all back. Yes. Yep. Was well, Were you successful? Yes. Yeah, Gebetto's like uh, helping Gillick tend to his wounds uh, when Eridar walks in. Ow, careful. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's okay. Usually I just have to do this myself, like on my own body. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm tender. <laughs> hey, yeah. for a tough guy, like for a guy who gets in the thick of it, you never really have to deal with this, huh? No, nah, not usually. Yeah. That's okay. I, it's kind of cool for it to be the other way around sometimes. I'm not saying like that it? I like that well, you're you hurt. hurt. You know what I mean? I just, uh, I, I, I like that I'm not hurt is what I mean. Uh, I, yeah, I like that you're not hurt too. I'm go, okay with that. I go over to them and I was like, Gebetto, do you want me to do this or do you? I mean, you, I'm usually the guy who does these things for other people too. I don't. But if you want to do yeah, this, yeah, I it's just fine. well, I just you know, usually everybody's taking care of me. It felt nice to be the the carer for once, you know. I mean, you can you can both help. Okay, yeah. Uh, Eridar goes over to Genevera and says, um, "So uh, you." chose poxen as the future king then yeah so funny story about that um before i tell you that funny story have you heard anything around town about us breaking into the vault has that spread yet or well you left here about 20 minutes ago so uh not yet but uh was there a lot of noise was there an issue oh no big explosion but no noise Uh uh-huh I assume that's true, because it was a magical bomb. Oh, no. I mean, there would definitely have been noise. <laughs> oh, there was a little noise. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Big explosion. I guess that tracks with Poxen. We should have probably... Uh, I should have probably anticipated that. Yeah. Um, so, here's the things that, here are the things that we need to do. We need to sleep for a little while, because we are quite hurt. As I'm in pain. See, Gillick's in pain. Ooh, um, okay. Then we gotta go kill the Cardozas, and then we have to figure out a way for me to rule Verena and also save the world. So if you think it's safe for us to nap down here for eight hours, though, can we do that? Thanks. You are certainly welcome to. You run a risk doing that. If the vault is discovered before the Cardozas are dealt with, then whatever work you did will be undone. Oh, so I had a thing about that also. Um, Turns out it doesn't matter who we put as the next in line because when we went to check the, uh, the the, um, the crucible, it said when King Callus falls. So like, According to the Crucible, King Callus is still the king. Then the then that is a bigger issue. Because that means that the Cardozas have lied to the public. Shock face? Genevera looks a little upset. They drove uh, King Callus away and set themselves up to be the king in her stead, but... I mean, it did say that... It did say that when Callus falls, a Car- the Cardosa Talvis? Is that yeah. his name? Yeah. Talvis Cardosa will be king. So... So we changed it from that. So perhaps the... Uh, the vault of the kingmaker in its own way still recognizes Victoria Callus as king, though... How much that matters, I guess, really depends on who you ask. Yeah, so I guess how how did they ascend? How did Talvis ascend using the vault? It was verified by the uh, court priests 
that the Vault of the Kingmaker named him as the successor. Which... Oh, well, I guess... Yeah. That's still true of Genevera. Yeah. If they don't change it, yes. Do you have any magic <sighs> that could give us all an eight-hour rest without taking eight hours? Like, could you just... Uh, magic, um, magic up some. That is not where my strength lies, but what I I might be able to do something else for you. If I okay. if I go to the vault, perhaps I can hold an illusion in place that will cover your tracks. That, that would be, be awesome. Useful. Yeah. If I do that... <laughs> Sorry, I just got excited, man. That's okay. That will give you time to rest. Uh, I will not be able to help beyond that. That will... Holding such an illusion for eight hours, especially if anyone comes and tries to interact with it, will be difficult. But you're amazing. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> that notwithstanding... I uh, will, I will be of no use to you otherwise. That's okay. I think that'll be yeah. The that's best a really, help. That's a big Ooh. use. That's a huge use. Yeah. Ooh, there is, there is something potent among you now. Something yeah. I feel. Oh, sorry, I've that was showered me. in a little while. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is why we need all that rest. No, I no, mean, no, no, no. Feel no, like no, already no. getting infected. Something powerful. Uh, concentrated, like... Oh, that's me. It is intoxicating. <laughs> and Gebetto flexes. Oh, mm. you want my flask? And then he winks at Eridar. Eridar shakes his head. No, no. Uh, <laughs> maybe later. Uh, is there something... <laughs> something of a, of a concentrated illusion among you? Something oh. powerful? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh... Oh my god. What yeah. if we just put the mask on and pretended to be Callus? And Callus could abdicate and Genevera could take her place. Ooh, I feel like every single court wizard could see through that. If it's that concentrated of illusion, they'll be like, eh, something's wrong here. Well, I don't know, because Eridar is like just pure <clears throat> illusion himself, so maybe that's just why you're sensitive to it. Uh, perhaps. I mean, there is definitely a feeling of illusion coming off of this thing. If, uh, if for instance, I were to cast detect magic, it would glow brightly with illusion. Right, right, right. Even if you are wearing it, I suspect. It's not a bad idea, though. No. It may still get you past certain. Right. Checkpoints. Yeah. Let's... Let's... Eridar, if you're willing, if you can go to the vault, like, now, that'd be awesome. Let's get our rest early, and then we can tackle this head on. Can I see it? Um... Keth? Yeah. I, here. Uh, here's... Here it is. Uh, he takes it from you, and you can see uh, his eyes widen as he stares at this reflective silver mask. He sort of runs his hand over it. And he says, Gebetto's hand goes to the unseen blade. Uh, he's going to prep an action for if Eridar uh, makes a move to keep the mask, uh, he's going to strike. Okay. He says, it is so, so powerful as though I could, could drink it in, could take it. Can, can you not, though? Yeah, we, that's important. We need and that. And we need that. <sighs> Kev really sl slowly reaches out to take it back. Of course. He hands it back to you, Kev. Of course. 
<clears throat> Everyone breathes a collective yeah. sigh of relief. <laughs> yeah, Geppetto, like, <laughs> untenses. <laughs> uh, I will... I will head to the vault. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck. Enjoy your rest, but uh, make haste as soon as you can. Yeah. He, he turns and leaves. When he's out of the room, uh, I say, so should we set up watch? Yeah, it sounds good. Because yeah. of a certain sticky-handed illusion boy? I just am concerned he's gonna take it in the night. Like, if he can... If he was that intoxicated... Everyone felt the tension in the room, right? I wasn't the only one. Yeah, no, I just... I I mean, I guess we can set up watch, as long as that still enables us all to get full rest. Yeah, it would be a, like, restful sort of oh, vigilance. I'm pretty sure that... Rest. I'm full sh- vigilance. <laughs> or we can just set a tripwire at the entrance and... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, you oh, have that spell. Nobody like can get by that. Adventure together. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll set up a tripwire with some pots and pans. Like, <laughs> yeah. That'll wake us Trip all pans. up and dis- tur- yeah, sure. Uh, Asher only needs a trance for four hours anyway. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Oh okay, Asher, you can take first and third and fourth watches. <laughs> first and fourth. Okay. <laughs> first sure. half. Sure. Okay. Asher, you don't need to sleep. We'll just we'll sleep. You just stay up. <laughs> yeah, I, you just you just trance. Yeah, like, I don't know why trance, Asher though. feels you know not a part of things. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, jeez, this must be weird. <laughs> <laughs> must be. Um. Yeah, but um, just a thing I'm nervous about because he was. Uh, so, it looked like he was about what? to pocket that. Yeah, what that makes me really nervous about is, like, we're going to have to go into this final fight against Gorm without these things. We are? What? <laughs> what? Uh, no, I, don't, I think the fact that he can sniff them out. No, no, it's not about sniffing them out. He can draw it's power about, from them. Right. Uh if, if we break, I, mean, I can use my like, shield. I mean, really, only the divination one, though, right? No, because he ha- he's trying to send all of them, all of right. the power That's down. That's Gorm's whole thing. Yeah, is- I know, but he is divination magic. We saw Eridar kind of feel like he was sucking power out of the illusion one because he is an illusion magic dragon. Yeah, but Eridar also hasn't jumped through a bunch of realities trying to like push all of the magic into the world. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm nervous about it. I, that's all. Yeah, that's something we should definitely consider going into uh, the final fight, I guess. Something to think about. Um, I mean, if we're wrong and uh, he does take all of it, it's only the end of the world. Right. You know? Mm. This is... Concerning. Well, sleep well, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. I I guess you're going to go to sleep, and I'm going to... Yeah, you stay awake. Okay. (laughs) No, we've got this tripwire rebuilt. You're fine. Yeah. Oh, when did that happen? Oh, I I did it while you were talking. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) It's like the most clumsily set up tripwire ever. It's like a piece of yarn. It's it's red yarn. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, right. And and it's like it's drooping to the floor in the middle. Yeah, all of her books are kind of like hanging above the door. Uh, look, looks Just, real like, good. like resting. It's a, it's a bucket on the door. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like... Right. Eridar teleports in. <laughs> right. Also fair. <laughs> all right. Good night. Night. All right. So you guys, uh, <laughs> anything else before you begin resting? Anyone? Um, b- we said good night. Well, yeah, you're resting. all set. You're fine. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, before I begin resting, I'd like to ritual detect magic, just to see if there's anything secret in here that I can't haven't haven't seen yet. Uh, no, in fact, uh, the only thing that glows uh, are the objects that you lot carry, and okay. the ones of pure magic are glow brighter than the others. Sure. 
and like the general area doesn't emit like a magical because of the suppression field that I think it has, right? This is supposed to be like magically hidden. Um, it seems like the there's nothing glowing, like there's no source for that. If there's okay. ambient magic, then that is something that is uh, inherent to the place and isn't glowing on its own. Okay. Nothing stinks. That's right. Hell yeah. No, that's detect good and evil. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, you guys rest, and then you wake up Yay. with your spell slots and your hit points. Uh, good morning. Sweet. Time to Yay. kill the king. I feel a lot better. Yeah. No. Yeah. Thanks, guys. This should be not Fine. easy, right? Like, how are we, how are we going to do this? Game plan. Yeah. Let's uh, talk. We go to the castle. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we kill the king. Great, Great plan. Thank you. Does I any- dreamt about it while I was sleeping. <laughs> Perfect plan. Does anybody want this mask? I have a, I have a, the blade, the elemental blade already. Does anybody not have a cool magic thing? Yeah. Does anyone not have? Do I have, have divination. I have, have necromancy. Ever- it feels Kath, very. Do you ever ju- use that blade? I've used it like once, I think, but I haven't found occasion to. But do you want that instead? No. It feels very. <laughs> this this feels like something. <laughs> this feels like something Gebetto would benefit most from. The illusion. Yeah. Come on, I'm not that ugly. No, well. Oh. I'm I'll, just saying. No one thinks you're ugly. Cool. You That's could probably fine. sneak around. <laughs> okay. I've got divination. Uh, Rob, you have necromancy. I have necromancy. Josh, what do you have? Abjuration. 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 Mike? Uh, the other one. Evocation? The no. The other guy. Um, conjuration. 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 No. Yeah. Yes. Conjuration. You're right. Thank you. And then, Mikey, you have illusion and Evo- abjuration? Evocation. 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 I think yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. He, Keth, Keth, wait, this is a logistical question. So, do we only have two ley lines left? Yes. After we have uh, transmutation and enchantment. Hmm. Because there's one that's in the whirlpool. That's yes. the one I'm so excited to do. Um, Maelstrom. Just because, yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna cast Maelstrom all the time. Um, and then wherever the other one is, uh, transmutation. But also, my logistical question is, we succeed, say, we succeed, and we've killed Talvis, and now we've put Genevera in charge. We still have to go places, and running a kingdom isn't great when you're not around. Mike, you said Conjuration? Yeah. And uh, Josh, Abjuration? Yeah, that is correct. Do you think we could just put Eridar in charge while we're gone? Like... So no, he already said he can't be. No, yeah. but what, what I was thinking... What if we just... Dragon. Oh, yeah. Go on. What I was thinking is uh, the only person that we can sort of conceivably trust with some of this magic would probably be Elatrix. So if we put... Give him the Mask of Illusion to look like Genevera, he could like rule as Genevera while we go off and do things. And then one... Oh, that's interesting. I was thinking maybe we could just put uh, Evian in charge since she doesn't have a kingdom right now anyway. Also fair. That actually works too. Right. Like, Do we need... hey, a uh, close personal friend of the king is going to be watching over um, yeah. in the meantime? Yeah. I don't know. Like... Do, does she need to be Genevera, though? Because we have this Mask of Illusion too as an option i feel like that the the mask being permanently on the the king would just look real bad if, if somebody finds out it sounds like it, it can be found out relatively easy that's fair that's a that's a fair point yeah i think that we could i think we should be we'll use this during our uh attempt to kill the cardozos but i don't know about ke- keeping it on permanently if for whoever okay. takes over. It was just a but, concern. Yeah. yeah. 
So we're saying have um, Evian run as like a steward in Genovera's place. Yeah, that was my thought. I don't know. Yeah. Do we Genovera? Would you be comfortable with that? Yeah, she's awesome. <laughs> Did we? I feel like we talked about having her be named king. I know this is different, but right. We, but we didn't want to do that without her permission. Yeah. So do you think giving her a stewardship is the same or similar to that? Well, have, I mean, not really, because we'll have a chance to go back home and ask her. So you'll be king and doing all the things until she says yes. Mm, yeah. Does that just mean that, well... I mean, yeah, it's the same thing, except she's not king. She's yeah. just the steward. Yeah. And she still has to say yes, yeah. I, I like her being here, but she's not from the area. So... As we're going to the castle, I think that we should use some of the same things we did when we were getting Keth. Um, Gibetto, do you still have that change image self? I feel like you and the or spell, I mean, change self image. Can when you, you when you looked like a when the, you looked like mask? a maintenance guy. <laughs> no, so that's so between disguise, disguise self. self. Yeah, I don't know what you call it. I mean, I didn't, I, I had a, like a scroll. It's all done. So you, that was my question. Yeah. Do you have it? The answer is no. No. Okay. No, I don't. So the thing is, um, Keth and Gebetto are probably the most um, dangerous faces Hi. for us to be walking around with and also have the least amount. Hey, Keth, do you think you could ask your brain friend if, he could make you look different, and then Gibetto can wear the mask. Yeah. So I'm just saying, Gillet can disguise himself. Asher mm-hmm. can be a spider. I can go invisible. Uh, but you two are. Yeah. Why don't you just make us invisible too? Yeah. Can you do that? Yep. I can oh, also do that. You know what? I can. I like that. Then it seems like um, problem so, solved, right? So it just I have, have never one done it before. I've only done it by accident. <laughs> so we just have one person who's disguising themselves to get in, or four people are invisible. No, I can only make two other people invisible. Well, I mean, I guess I could make three, but that would be really so you can make two tiring. people invisible, you and one other plus person. me. No, no, no. Yeah. And then Gillick, you can you can make yourself invisible plus one other person. Ah, uh, yes. So everybody's invisible. I like that better, including except the spider, which is fine. That would be. Do we need one person to be the person think... going to court or whatever? I mean, I think uh, just if the door swings open and air walks through, that's going to be a lot more suspicious than we could just go. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's why I think one person should <laughs> one person should wear the mask, right? One person should wear the mask, and then the remaining people should be invisible slash a spider. Because I'm not wearing the mask because I have uh, uh, a charming personality <laughs> that might not work in this. Instant. I was going to say, I have no idea how courts work, despite being in them constantly, but okay. I know, it sounds like we were saying the same thing, just uh, different. Okay. Where are we? <laughs> so, who are we going to, who's going to be the spokesperson to get us in? Not it. Not Where, it. I know you're, no. De- no, no. It no, seems no. Like it's you, take Genevera. your fingers off of your noses. No. Genevera. Take your fingers off of your noses. It feels like Shut it should up. be you. But who <laughs> am I wearing the mask of? She like holds out her hand for Keth. And I feel like as soon as she touches it, like she just turns into Clyde <laughs> automatically. I mean, you could be Clyde. He is a king. Okay. He, he would have... What if? How crazy would that be? If he what just if... shows up by himself one day. <laughs> okay. I, I can disguise myself as a bodyguard. Okay. Oh, that's smart. I can make Keth and and Gibetto invisible. And then and be and be Klein. <laughs> 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 um. 
Okay. 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 Let's do this. Let's do it. No, this is great. This is okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. Okay, right, and Keth, then one. Keth hands Genevieve the mask. So yeah. when we're in there, I will get. I'll try to do my best to get bah, as close to the king as possible, and then kind of get the jump on him, right? Yeah, and I think Gibetto and and Keth, you should do that too. But we should probably try to like be in a smallish. Oh, sure. Invite like, the king to dinner. Yeah, or be like, we need to have a meeting or whatever. Not, well, I don't <laughs> think we'll see him outside of court, right? Like, how do we lure, or yeah, how do we lure him away? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think king should king. be able to do that. Yeah. We get yeah. him drunk. Yeah, king chat. We'll bring alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like yeah, thinking. may we speak in private kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. that sounds okay. official. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird okay. coming out of my mouth. Uh, I don't know oh, yeah. how I knew that. Jibeto, that work. Can, do you yeah. make, like, poisons and stuff? Like, I know you have some alchemy things. Can you make, like, potions that Ooh. make people truthful or sleepy or, you I know, mean, whatever? I mean... You've you've tried a white American, Gillick. You know what I can do, baby. <laughs> uh, You're right. I don't know why I asked. I mean, I mean a... not, not for nothing, but, like, I can also, like, give him a disease... Asher like <laughs> <laughs> looks at everyone. Asher, that sounds private. That sounds like a private no, thing. No, but... no, no. It's a spell. Okay. Uh, that would get, I, it I have a, a poison of midnight tears. Um, what does that do? They, that sounds scary. When if yeah. you have? How, what does that do? Die at midnight. Hold on. <laughs> Nope. Okay, How long so... have you had this? <laughs> Where Wait, did you get it? I have a murder potion and you've been holding out on us? Yeah, we've had a lot of people we could have murdered in the last however long you've had this. Although, honestly, great time to bring it up. D- 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 yeah. Yeah, I thought this was a, a pro- the only appropriate this feels time right. we've uh, yeah, come yeah. up with. Yeah. So, so it uh... says, a creature that ingested midnight tears suffers no effect until stroke of midnight. <laughs> if the poison must has not been neutralized by then. They make a DC 17 saving throw. It takes 9 D6 damage on us. That's awesome. That's awesome. Because then they won't think it was Clyde that killed him. He can just die in the middle right. of the night. So how do we administer in the poison? The middle of the night. And I have three uses. And T. I don't know if 9 D6 is going to be enough. No, you should You should just put all three doses in his tea. Yeah, because like he might do well on one or two of the resisting thematic words <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 nice work so that would be like 27d6 is that the if it's three doses on, a, on if you three gave them all? failed saves yeah yes. it'd be 96 but it would be three times wow so like because he would have where to... did you get this yeah where did you get this uh, uh when i bought the machine. candle of the deep and the cloak of many fashions as he as he re uh, does his cloak and makes it, a, uh, yeah, I was gonna say the only thing you've used <laughs> is the fucking cloak. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we haven't had any. Uh, we've never had a great opportunity to use poison on somebody. <laughs> no time like the yeah, present. Yeah, yeah let's do yeah. this. When we're so gonna we just try and murder somebody. So we have, and it's easier to hide, but we have to yeah, figure because... out how we administer it. Like, that's a true... Keth will be invisible. I'll... He'll put it in his drink. By right, mouth. when Clyde and the king have, have... I'll make sure he has a drink. Clyde loves tea. Say he has, <laughs> like, try, try and get him to have, like, a, a dinner to talk about, you know, public relations or, like, the countries yeah. and stuff. Yeah, or even just a chat with drinks. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Done. Right. And, I and think, then since you're invisible, yeah. you pour it in. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I'll, like, or Gillick, you can, like, distract him to turn his head or something, and then you shoop, 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 pour it in, and then, like, he drinks it. Yeah. And he dies. And if, yeah. But not okay. immediately. And if shit right goes south. Midnight. And if shit goes south, we'll all we'll be, like, anyway. present, and we'll just commit regular regicide, as opposed to sneaky regicide. What time is it right now? Midnight. Uh, Midnight. No, it's... <laughs> 11.45. No, it's pretty early in the day. Like, uh, probably like 9 or 10 a.m. Great. 
Good plan. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. I like this a lot. Um, 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 so, Gebetto, you're going to be invisible, too? Yeah. So, I'm you imagining probably hold, hold my hand. Require a lot of, like, nimbleness and dexterity, and I feel as though I'm not the best to do that. Would you put the, uh, the, the potion in? Would I poison Talvis Cardoza? I, I didn't know if you'd want to do it or not, oh, so I just cat. didn't want to ask until now. Oh, what a big ask. Oh, I mean, <laughs> ooh, yeah. let me no, lay that fine. out here. Just, I mean, oh, it's fine. I, I mean, do you want me to do it, Tibetto? Because I can do it. Like, if you don't want it's to fine. do it. Yeah, no, it's fine. Kev, Kev, Kev goes Kev to hand it, it to Asher. Yeah, yeah, I'll you do you don't want to? I'll do it. I'll okay, do I'll figure it. it out. Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, need God damn it, honestly. I want to do it! <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you say that? Why didn't you say that first? Jeez, here you go. Snap. God. Snap. So he's like, whoa, okay, here, here. Be, I didn't. Be, yeah, sure. be more clear. Jeez. You don't have to <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so are you guys headed for the palace? Mm hmm. Yeah. I am a spider on Gillick's shoulder, slash, variant. I don't know. On his disguised shoulder. Okay. Yes. So you're using yeah, the altar shouldn't... self, right? Sky self. Oh, disguise self. Okay. <laughs> so it only makes me look different. It doesn't make me sound different or anything. And so I'm still, to, to keep things safe, I'm still a dwarf. Just, yeah, generic. So uh, I, I like to think that... Uh, <laughs> generic dwarf. You, you wash away your features. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> My nose is a little bigger. I have a red beard instead and hair. Uh, and my plate armor is still nice because I'm hanging out with the king. It's shiny. Um, still have a shield. Uh, my hammer is instead an axe. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, I have an axe on my hilt even though the hammer is unsummoned. And, yeah. All right. There we go. Great. Um, I, think, I think we should stick to the sewers as much as we can mm -hmm. uh, so that we don't have to like keep re-upping this invisibility here right because uh, yeah. right it's not a super long spell right it's an hour yeah yeah so let's yeah so, get close to them via the yeah okay I get you yeah okay um, you uh, follow the path through the sewers a little ways uh, to the uh, just outside the palace, which is not too far. Um, <clears throat> you guys have been uh, here before, or at least uh, nearby. Um, and so you come up out of the sewer in the marketplace uh, that was closest to the palace. Um, and you are, you can see the great dome uh, up in the sky above the, a few buildings away. Um, and uh, yeah. You are you are in position. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. Right, operation. So I sh assume we find like a little like kind of alleyway to tuck into. Yeah. Yep. Okie dokie. Uh, Genevera casts invisibility on Keth and Gibetto and then puts the mask on. <laughs> you become Clyde. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Asher, what what are you transforming into a spider? Yep, little baby spider boy. Okay. Um, well then, uh, yeah, it all seems to take effect and no one seems to notice. And then we win. <laughs> all right, so Genevera is going to give Gillick a thumbs up and then yeah. leave the... Oh, um, I need a name as your bodyguard. I'm... Uh, um... Craig. Perfect. <laughs> That, that that really felt like a joke I would have made. And honestly, well, it's a joke I kind of it's a kind of joke I would have wanted to anyways, it's not important. <laughs> he stole I a you stole name. his joke. I just uh, it's fine. Yeah, way to go. No, no, no it's fine. It's not, I'm not His mad. type of joke. He, not yeah, even his yeah. joke. That's my brand of joke. Yeah, <laughs> Give it back. It's, 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 it was really it was a really good one too. Like, Get up out of my shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hell. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm Craig. All right, 
I'm quick. I'm going to try to talk a little different so that they don't recognize my voice. Okay, cool. I also will do that, but... I, so when know, Genevera whenever. talks with the mask on, Gillick, you hear it in Clyde's voice. Okay. Yeah, you sound... Or whatever. You, I mean, you sound like Clyde. That sounds really cool. Cool. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I have great magic and stuff. Yeah, you do. Am I doing good? Yeah, I mean, you're Clyde. On. It's, I mean, you have mannerisms and everything. You sound like Clyde. It's, it's great. Cool. It's perfect. Okay, we, let's we go. Got an hour. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> I just love that Genevieve's interpretation of Clyde is like he's like, yeah, I'm good at magic. Whatever. It's not like like I everything mean, that. Yeah. <laughs> It's not yeah, different yeah, yeah. than Clyde. He, like, it's, not, it's not. It's so much cooler than real Clyde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, his whatever is like, <laughs> like an empty. It's like suck. a loss for words. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good. All right. But she thinks he's way cooler than he is. So. All we, right, we, we are at the gate. Okay. At the gate, there are uh, four guards. Hey. I'm the king of Carapath or whatever, so you should probably let me in. You should probably let him in. Uh, <laughs> the king of Carapath? Yeah, Clyde Harper. So. Don't you know who this is? This is Clyde Harper. Uh, he turns, he says, go uh, check with the steward, see what... Uh, what's happening today and whether or not we were expecting the king of carapath you weren't but like i'm just kind of checking in on everybody since there's been a recent change of throne or whatever i just figured like i'd come check it out i love this impression oh. <laughs> uh okay uh the guard runs back to the steward when you see him like i uh, travel across the uh, the green a little bit and then up into the palace um, in through the double doors. A few minutes later, he comes back out with a very tall, thin man uh, dressed in ornate robes. Uh, he wears a tall pointed hat um, that is uh, purple and gold. Uh, and he says, you say that you are the king of Carapath. Yeah, that's me. You can ask me anything about myself to prove it, because I know ask him anything. everything about myself. He does. We heard much about your uh, ascension to the throne. Uh, yeah. When you <laughs> took over from the previous king. What was Look your... at what Dragon Con did for Anthony. This is a new voice. This is a brand <laughs> yeah. new Whoa, voice. you're right. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. I like it. Good job. Thank you. Uh, what was your relationship with the former king? We were married or whatever, but like, it was just so that I could like, you know, it was just like a political thing. Like, I didn't really love her <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Megan. How far into my hands can I bury my face and stay invisible? Like, real life Mike wants to turn invisible. A Asher, as a spider, is covering, is like all, all, just all, all of the eight paws arms are over just his like, eyes. oh my god. Yeah. Asher is like um, spider death pose. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fully alive, full hit points, spider death pose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Your Majesty, we should probably find out who this person is first before we talk to them more. And... Yeah, you're right. I don't need to talk to you. <laughs> I'm here to talk with the new king of Verena and stuff. Uh, well, I am Erethys Cardoza. I am the steward of this palace, and you will speak to me before you speak to anyone in the royal family. All right. Is this uh, how we're we, like, how you this a king? inside or whatever? It's hot here. There are a lot of bugs. It's real muggy where I come from. It's a lot drier. Aren't you the king in the swamp? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but my castle has regulation air control <laughs> and stuff. Uh, uh, <laughs> nice. 
Uh, make a deception check. <laughs> Added advantage. <laughs> Add advantage. Hell yeah. Uh, no. Deception. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Not at advantage, but it was still 21. <laughs> I'm sorry if you do not find our coastal city uh, to your liking. Uh, if you don't enjoy it, you're welcome to leave. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. Well, we would hate to keep the Royal Highness waiting, so... That's me. Why don't we bring you inside, and we will uh, allow you to meet with the uh, the king shortly. Uh, I'm on a pretty tight schedule here, so, like, what are we talking about shortly? Like, ten minutes or, like, three hours? As cause... soon as he's available. Oh, Okay. Uh, he turns and motions to the guards and walks toward the front doors of the palace. As soon as he turns his back and, like, they're out of eye shot or whatever, Genevieve is going to give a big thumbs up to Gillick. <laughs> <laughs> Gillick's going to just smile, big <laughs> smile, <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, I thought, one, it, I thought it went up. great. <clears throat> uh, okay, let's go. Okay, or whatever. Uh, the two, well, I guess the five of you follow behind um, the steward uh, who takes you up into the palace. Uh, he turns and says, This palace is uh, the most regal and well-maintained of all of the palaces in New Merida. I'm sure I don't have to point out some of the yeah, more opulent no, it's features. Way fancier than the stuff we've got at home. But, like, I'm, like, a cool king. I don't really care about, like, you know, decorations or whatever. I'm just worried about, like, you know, the politics and stuff. Yes, the politics and stuff. Well, uh, this seems like a good place to wait, and the king will be here to meet with you soon. Uh, he opens the door to uh, a long table, uh, and it's set for uh, 12 people. Uh, and it's a little sitting room with windows out over onto uh, Verena. Uh, Are you guys having like a dinner party or whatever? This is just one of the places we bring dignitaries to wait to speak with the king. Yeah, all right. <laughs> he nods, says, your majesty, and bows, and then... Yeah, cool. Leaves. Thank you. Nice, I thought that, that went so good, right? very well. Yeah, yeah, nice job. Thanks. Uh, Gebetta's going to look around the room before he says anything. Are we alone? Uh, make an investigation check. <laughs> Great. Uh, that is uh, 27. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you find two places where people could be uh, monitoring this room, uh, like basically hidden peepholes. Uh, however, from what you can determine, no one is currently using those peepholes. Great. Um Gebetto is going to point at Genevera and cast message. Uh, and he's going to say... I think that undoes invisibility if you cast a spell. I didn't cast invisibility. No, but I don't... Oh, think it... I see what you're saying. If yeah. you take an action like that, yeah. If you take an action... It's um, nearly positive that's the case. Let's so see. It's just, so like I know it breaks for me. It, like, the spell if I ends cast... for a target that attacks or casts a spell. Yep, you're right. So he's not going to do that. Okay. Get those on helm of Genevieve is going to put her to, notebook the on door. the table. <clears throat> okay. Like oh, yeah, because I, I assume that we would have talked through all this, right? Uh, you would have told me what invisibility does and yeah. how, how to not break it. Yeah. Um, great. So, yeah, Gibetto is going to write, uh, the walls have eyes, and then draw an arrow Toward the peepholes that he saw. Okay. This is pen floating in the middle of a yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. table. Awesome. Well, I figure you and I would be like around it enough. Yeah. 
Um, so Genevera is going to nod and then find the comfiest chair. She's going to put her book back in her bag. Uh, she's going to find the biggest and comfiest chair in the room and sit in it. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, two big chairs uh, at either end of the table. Um, <clears throat> the, the heads of each part of the table have large overstuffed chairs with arms. Um, the back is taller than you are when you sit. Um, nice. Yeah, you choose one of those. Does Keth hear anything with his home? Like, uh, like make he's going to go to the door and try and... Yeah, make a perception check at advantage. Seventeen. After a few minutes, you hear uh, two men in armor. Well, I guess two people in armor. You don't know. Uh, stand outside the door. Okay. He uh, goes over and whispers to Genevera that uh, they posted some people outside our door. Yeah, I guess we could just talk. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. How long has it been? At this point, it's been about five minutes. Is there any... Um, when I look around the room, uh, is there any conceivable place for people to hide? Just those two peepholes look like the places where um, people no, could no, be hidden. No, no, no. Like, they could be looking in, but I'm thinking, is there places that a person could uh, stow themselves secretly, i.e. the two invisible people who may not be invisible for much longer? Um, yeah, I mean, there are a couple of um, uh, cabinets uh, somewhere, where, like, have fine china in them or uh, are decorative mostly there's some small uh fancy looking knickknacks and things uh but the underneath of the cabinet is empty so someone could hide inside that if they wanted to uh additionally there's a large vase uh that is empty in the corner it's an art piece that someone could hide in it's oh probably about four and a half feet tall Uh, how are we doing on the spell's time, or time in general? So if it's only been about five minutes here, it's probably still about 50 minutes left. Cool. 50, 45 minutes. Another 10 minutes pass, uneventfully. Cool. Do you think we should go, like, to the door and see? <coughs> like, I assume, yeah. I'm assuming we're locked in at this point. So, um, Anthony, is there like a little tiny gap underneath the door that I could potentially slide through? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I hop off Gillick and I start like shimmying over, um, mm -hmm. a scuttle over there, um, sneak out underneath the door. I assume I see the two guards. Correct. Um, what else do I see? Do you right now? Not. <clears throat> yeah. Make a perception check. Sure. Uh, that would be about a... Oof, that was bad. Um, uh, but I am uh, perceptive. Uh, so, 11. The hallway goes uh, both to the left and to the right. Uh, there's another room across the hall. And there's two guards posted outside this room. Nothing, okay, of note. Um, <clears throat> I kind of... I come back out of the... Um, door jam i guess and climb onto the table uh get kind of near that book that i assume genevere is scribbling on or whatever and i just kind of like gesture like a spider shrug and get back on gillick <laughs> okay <Kinda> like, <laughs> you know like have you ever seen the like the spiders that like have the two like hands that are like shaking above them you should Have look I it up. Seen that in it's, real life. No, that seems sexy terrifying. dancing spiders. No, they're it's really cute. Um, spiders are secretly cute, except I still kill them every nope. time. But nope. um, yeah, I just do a little shrug with like two of the arms, and then jump back on Gillick. Should we? Should we like insist on seeing the king? Just like this, trying to speed this up. Be like, I'm I'm a king. Um, I kind of think. We should wait a little bit. Um, as soon as we kind of hit the hour, um, 
I can recast like the minute before the hour's up. I can recast so that oh, we've great. got another hour. But like, I wouldn't push it past that. Great. You know what I mean? Like, I think we can. I think we can wait a while yeah. longer. I thought this was a one-time shot. All right, great. Now nah, I've got. I got it. Ten more minutes pass uneventfully. I go out to the hallway check again. Same thing. Cool. <sighs> Gibetto is getting really bored. <laughs> I feel like we should talk talk to the guard. Um, All right. He's going to keep an eye on the like peepholes. So far, uh, no one has been into the peepholes, and just keep watching them uh, and kind of hoping something happens. How? He's really he's having a hard time sitting still. How big are the are the big peepholes? Big enough for me to fit through, or no? Uh, they are, they would be, but they are, there is a piece of glass in them. Oh, 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 I get what you're saying. So, like, they're not exposed and open. Right. You just see where they could be. Okay. What floor All right, are I'm going to go check with the guard outside. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's, let's, let's go talk to the guard. And so, Genevieve opens the door. Yep, the door opens. Great. The two, the guard turns, he says, oh, your majesty. Yeah, uh, we've been waiting here for, like, forever. Yes, of course, Your Majesty. I'm very sorry. There's a, apparently some sort of issue with the king. He'll be in as soon as he can. He's very busy. Yeah, no, but, like, I'm also a king and really busy, so could you just, like, point me down the hall to where he lives? Oh, I can't do that for you. Oh, but can't you? I can guide you to the exit, or you can sit and wait. Do you have, like, can you get me, like, a rough timeline? Like, are we talking five more minutes? Are we talking I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Day? I've been here for about 20 minutes now. I don't know. Yeah. Could you get us, like, some food? Maybe some, like, tea? My my guard here and I are very thirsty and stuff. The next time yeah, a porter comes by, we'll get you some tea. Yeah. All right. Um... Uh, okay. Have a I seat. Guess. We'll take care of you. Thanks, or whatever. What's your name, pal? My name is Heaven. That's a horrible Heaven? name. That's a horrible name. Nope. Heaven? Too late. Heaven. It's Heaven. like Kevin with an H. My parents are real assholes. <laughs> 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 or is that like, is he a tiefling? That's like his, uh, his, uh, virtue name? Yep, you've picked it. You fixed it. That's yeah. what it is. Cool. It's Kevin Heaven. Kevin Heaven. That's his full <laughs> fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, or whatever. Let's. Uh, I guess Thanks, Kevin. Heaven. Yeah, we'll just wait, or whatever. <laughs> so when Where we go back in and shut the door, <laughs> I don't know. I was like an H name, and then I was like, wait, no, we already have H names, and then it was like too late. I've already started with an H. <laughs> and then I was like Kevin. And I was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> you've released that name like a flock of doves. You couldn't like, get it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when we go back in and sit down, um, can I, I'm going to write down in my book, um, Keth and Gibetto, make sure you are out of sight of the peepholes. We, I think we should just wait. I'm going to let invisibility drop. Um, and as soon as maybe Asher, you stay under the door. Mm -hmm. um, as soon as you see someone coming. Yeah. You scuttle back up here. I'll recast invisibility, and then we'll be good to go, and we're not wasting any time. Sure. I can only do that, however, for three hours. So <clears throat> just what it's worth. Okay. Hopefully it's not longer than that. All right. So, Keth, where are you going? Uh, to some place where, like, I see, I know where the peepholes are, so I would hide appropriately. Like, where are you going, Gibetto? Yeah. <laughs> Gibetto's going to sit directly underneath one of the peepholes. Because um, I assume they can't like see each other. That would be really stupid to have. Mm -hmm. Like, If you're going to have hot little hidey holes to look into a room, if they were like looking at each other, that would be super dumb. Uh, you would want multiple angles of the same room, right? Um, so I assume if you sit under one, you can't be seen by the other. Is that that's an actually an assessment uh, of this room? It's really I, I this is so 
this is so in the weeds and I don't I don't want to have this conversation, but that's actually precisely why you would have the two people. When you have two cameras in a location, you put them so that they are facing each other so that you get full coverage of uh, the area that the other one is blind to. Uh, oh. So you actually would put the people's basically on opposite sides of the room looking yeah, at each other. You'd be blind to oh. one, but not the other. So there would be no... There wouldn't be a great spot. blind spot. You'd have to find like a way to tuck into or underneath or behind something to be in a blind spot. Okay. Great. great. I'm glad that you're a security guard uh, so that yeah, the... Yeah, that some expertise. Sorry. For one more uh, week, baby. <laughs> security guard supervisor. You're right. One more week, you baby. You should face, everybody. Should have seen his face. He got really indignant when I called him a security guard. <laughs> Get him in while yeah. you can. Get him in while you can. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in that case, um, like, Gibetto is going to use the hide action to turn his body into smoke and sit in the darkest corner of the room. Okay. <clears throat> Give me a hide check. Great. Uh, that is a 27. Okay. Uh, yeah, you bump into, uh, Keth, uh, who's also trying to hide in the darkest corner of the room. Uh, but the, the two of you push up back against the wall and you turn to smoke. Invisible right. smoke. Well, for a second, because now he's, uh, now he's going to point at Genevieve and cast, uh, cast message to like turn in invisibility off for himself mm -hmm. uh, and he's going to say do you think the reason the king's not coming is because he found out about us breaking into the vault I mean maybe so should we maybe do something about that or should we sit here well I guess Should we? Uh, I don't know what else we would do. Uh, Storm through the castle. I wish I could contribute, but I'm a spider. And they're messaging. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're not on this text plan. Damn it! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're not in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so I... <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Gibetto points back and is like. I mean, it's your call. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> um, and a dark, like, miasma of smoke kind of envelops the far corner of the room. Uh, <coughs> Jennifer is going to say to Gillick... Um, okay, so should we get the two guards outside in this room and knock them out, and then you can look like one of them and take me to another room? Like, we'll find Talvis? Is there, is there an or? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the or, the or is that we sit here and wait, which Gibetto doesn't seem to be cool with. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Uh, all right, so we could could knock him out but that that could cause more problems i mean they could be found although it doesn't seem like anybody's coming to this room right now uh, if we do that our timer are becomes even shorter and we gotta we gotta be like boom 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 get in do the deed and get out yeah the door opens Oh. What? And in walks. When Asher was listening, though. Yeah. Uh, you, okay. Asher. Heads up. <laughs> sure. Two people approach the door. Who are they? Or do they look? What well, does it matter? Okay. I go. I look. Like, ah, ah, spider. And Genevera in the corner touches Keth and Gibetto. Okay. And then crosses her arms real cool. Okay. The door opens, and the steward, and a shorter, uh, man who appears to be halfling. Uh, in short brown robes, enters behind him. The steward says, mm, start in the corner over there. The man start, heads over to the corner um, and begins gesticulating. Uh, 
What are you doing? I am preparing the room for the king to come and speak with you. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, To do so, we must make sure proper preparations are in place. Are you uh, against this? Uh, no, we're in here alone, so whatever. Geppetto, Geppetto reaches out. You search uh, all you want. To try to grab Keth. Yeah, but Keth, Keth is going to try and avoid. Is, like, what, what corner are they starting on? Uh, they're in the other corner from you guys. Right, yeah, yeah. Geppetto is going to try and grab Keth to like pull him behind, right? Like, uh, so that we're kind of like following yeah. uh, stealthy style, lurking directly behind the, the caster. Okay. Um, right. Does that make sense? Is that what you were? Yeah. Oh, you're so uh, you're going to be lurking behind the caster. So yeah, I was going like to to try and avoid him away yeah. from him, not like directly close. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Same. But you like know, once he checks that yeah, first corner, yeah. you'll sit right. in that first there, corner. It's right? basically Metal Gear Solid rules, where it's just like a little cone in front of them. Uh-huh. That's the only right. way they can detect you. <laughs> right. Yeah, Don't... we're trying to stay out of the cone. Bring. Got it. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I get it, Anthony. In real life, they'd have two casters so that there wasn't a (laughs) one spot. (laughs) Gibetto knows how detect magic works because he can cast it. So, like, when this guy starts gesticulating, does he recognize that? Negative. Well, actually, make an arcana check. Okay. I mean, I kind of gave up the ghost on this one, I feel like. But make an arcana check. Uh, That is a 14. So, uh, no, it is not, um, d- detect magic. It does not even okay. appear to be the same school as detect magic. Okay. Um, cool. he gesticulates, he mutters some words, and then he slowly moves to the other corner, um, across the room towards you guys. Uh, so I suspect, Keth, Gibetto, you guys head to the other side. Yeah. So make stealth checks for me. Make right. At advantage? Ones. At advantage, yeah, you are worse. invisible. That sticks. Yeah, I can look at it. Yeah, it's, it's a. Yeah. Nat 20? Uh, that is a 29. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, an 11. Oh, God. At advantage? Uh, not, uh, not 9 and a 2. Boof. Okay. So. Advantage uh, doesn't mean you just add them together, you also get to add your mod. <laughs> Thirteen. Equ- equivalent. <laughs> uh, Gibetto, you very also quickly checks out. <laughs> you quickly and silently move to the other side of the room as he, as this uh, uh, mage makes his way around. Uh, Keth, you move out from the corner, and as you do, you bump into a chair next to the table. Uh, it clatters a bit, makes a bit of a noise, and the steward's head snaps toward it. Um, just as you, just as he looks at that, Asher, your wild shape fades away. What? And Mm. Gillick, your, uh, disguise self fades away as well. As the anti-magic field around the caster moves to you. Damn. Uh, Kath immediately attacks the, uh, the closest, uh, whoever's closest to him. (laughs) J- <laughs> uh okay so i guess the closest for you uh in this instance would probably be the steward okay um am i like behind him and i get a good jump on him or no you gotta like get over the table i feel like i could do that okay you could go around you could go over you got a lot of movement so so this will be uh, your surprise attack and then we'll roll initiative <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> also, Asher, you're sitting on Gillick's shoulders, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gillick falls over. <laughs> <laughs> right, suddenly I change appearance and someone falls off of me. <laughs> cool. Rise. So uh, a 20 to hit. Okay, yeah, you vault the table. Uh, and come in with the redeemer. Is this gonna? So okay, just so, just so I can plan it. Uh, this is one attack, no like double attack. I can add, do key like it's just literally one attack. 
Um, you get your regular attack, your offhand attack, and your extra attack. But you can't spend... I'm not going to... Don't spend key on this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the first one, I'm going to use the gauntlet. Fourteen damage. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you crack the steward in the back. Um, he lets out a yelp. Twenty-five to hit. That hits. And another gauntlet. Eleven damage. Okay. Yeah, you smack him uh, uh, with the redeemer. Uh, and he just falls to the ground unconscious. Okay, great. The steward? Yeah. Was it just one steward or two? There's one steward and one... a steward and a halfling. And a halfling uh, wizard, yeah. The steward was... He's not an adventurer, man. He's a bureaucrat. (laughs) Yeah, I get it. (laughs) (laughs) Sucks about his last name, though. So he's trustworthy. Exactly. Subdued. (laughs) He is subdued. Excellent. He's a sub Can I? Can my uh, redeemer trigger? Sure. Um. Yeah. Uh, cool. So I'll jump and attack the other, the the wizard. Okay. Eighteen to hit. That hits. All right. No more things. Nine damage. Okay. That's uh, it. everyone, roll initiative. Oh boy. Oh boy. We are in the shit now. That's a five for me. Kev, he's ready to go. You you, you got a 20. Damn. Jesus. 15. Kev's just going to clean the room out before any of us has the chance to fight. 14. I feel like we're trying to move quickly. (laughs) Yeah, no, that feels good. It does feel good. That feels right. That's awesome. That's what we need. Weird. The fighter is good at fighting. Kev, it's your turn. (laughs) All right, all right. He will do a, uh, a, a point of key to start and uh, tr- do flurry of blows. Try- I want to knock him prone. 21 to hit. 21 hits. 7 damage. And he makes a strength saving throw or dex saving throw? Let me check. It's been so long. He fails regardless. Dope. Um, so advantage on all further attacks, I believe. Yep. All right. So uh, he his second strike un- unarmed for with the with the flurry, just like mm-hmm. pummeling on twenty seven to hit nine damage, and then redeemers twenty eight to hit nine damage. Second attack is a thirteen to hit. Is that thirteen does not hit? So oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, good. It's fourteen. For the next one, so <laughs> uh, fourteen doesn't hit either. Um, so basically, you walk up, you trip him onto the ground, you kick him in the ribs, and then you just slam the uh, redeemers into him. You catch him a couple of times. He rolls out of the way of the last one. Um, he tries to push himself up to his feet. Uh, but uh, it's Geppetto's turn. Great. Um, <clears throat> uh, Don't get blood on his clothes. We can use them. <laughs> Geppetto slides under the table uh, and is going to coup de gras the Cardoza on the ground. Yep. Uh, yeah, you... you- just push the blade right through. Where are you stabbing him? Uh, right in the heart. Yeah, you push it right through his heart. Um, he's unconscious, and he just lets out a wheeze as you finish him off. Yeah. As he deflates. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Gibetto takes goes the around signet the room. ring. <laughs> you take what? The signet ring off his off his finger. Yep. Uh, and Gibetto moves to close the door. Uh, yeah, the two guards have definitely heard what's going on. Uh, right, that's fine. So you move over to the door. Uh, yeah, we'll see you get to the door in time, um, and you start to push it closed. 
Great. Asher, it's your turn. So, any magic field seems to be gone because <laughs> that guy's d- 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 dead. Uh, uh, no, no, no. The guy casting the animagic magic field is not dead. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Uh, but let's see. Because he's unconscious, though. No. No, the steward is dead. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I misunderstood. Uh, the anti magic field is still up. Okay. Um. I wonder if you can. Does the anti magic field not affect the mask? Correct. That's cool. That's really powerful. Um. Oh God, we're gonna get in so much trouble with Clyde. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um. If anyone's alive to find out about it, to tell anybody about it. Well, seeing that um, Gebetto just coup de grad someone, Asher goes over with Dune Song and takes a big old swing. At the at the uh, the mage. Yeah, and he it's a it's a ten. He hasn't swung a weapon in a long time, uh, so I assume that misses. Maybe I'm wrong. No, no, 10 definitely misses. Okay. Is that that it? <laughs> That's all I can do, my boy. I, I, uh, I, can't, wild, I can't do anything fun right now. Okay. Uh, Gillick, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, well, it's just the halfling, right? Yep. Well, there's two guards just outside the door who definitely know shit's going down. Okay. But they haven't come in yet. Correct. Uh, and what has the halfling done anything? Or have we just been wailing on him? Just been wailing on him. Yeah, okay. He's still he's still alive. He's still casting anti magic field. Now we've already killed someone. I'm just going to go whack him with a hammer. Um, does he have to roll concentration checks? He sure does. To keep that up? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to whack him. Uh, 18 hit. Hits. And then... He takes... 10 points of damage. Okay, anti-magic field drops. Yay! Yay! All right. Uh, yeah. Fuck it. <clears throat> Second attack. Twenty-two to hit. Hits. Burn a smite. Uh. Twenty. Okay. So he had been trying to push himself up to his knees. Uh, you drop the hammer into the small of his back flattening him back against the floor. Uh, he rolls back just in time for you to drop the hammer right between his eyes, uh, crushing his head. <sighs> oh, that's really gross. I, I really didn't want to do this, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, all right. So the guards haven't come in yet. Correct. Is there, guys, is there any way we can hide the bodies? <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, it's your turn. Yeah, I think at this point... We just kind of gotta go. Maybe even like I take the mask off and we just kill this whole castle. You want to just storm the castle? Um, maybe we can get away with it. If we can get ki- kill those guard or get rid of those guards and then pretend that we are them and somehow just like, yeah, lock like, them in this like, room. Yeah, like you can disguise yourself as the tall guy and I can disguise myself as the halfling and right. Just walk out and say we're leaving them in there. Okay. Leaving them in the room. Yeah, okay. So let's drag the bodies the just to, like, yeah. behind the table. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And just, we'll just pretend like we're leaving our, ourselves in the guards, there. Yeah, and everyone... The guards slam on the door. Uh, yeah, Gibetto, everyone are you get holding behind it? this door. Um, I figure he, like, had just finished shutting it um, and was, like, looking back when everyone... Uh, Agreed. Talking. Agreed. So I guess kind of, but not really. Okay, then they just throw the door open on you, um, and the two guards are moving in. Uh, yeah, he tries. Gebetto tries to like stay behind the door, 
you know. Um, yep, yep. Uh, make a dexterity check for me. Uh, that is a n- 11. Okay. Uh, you try to get in behind the door. It comes real fast. Um, and you get clipped by the doorknob. Okay. So you take, Yowza. uh, 13 bludgeoning damage. Holy shit. Yeah. Hits you right, door. right in the nose. <laughs> boink. Boink. The, the heart. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. Um, as the door is opening, Genevera is wildly waving for at least Asher and Keth to get behind it. Probably Gillick too, since he looks different now. Yeah. As, as soon as I can, I want to uh, cast this guy's self to look like the halfling. Um, okay. okay. Uh, so the guards come in and... Uh, What's up? <laughs> Asher, Asher and Keth, roll me uh, stealth checks. <laughs> um, sure. Uh, that would be. Twenty-three. That's not bad. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Keth has just moved into the corner. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, he's got his. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, he's just like pressed himself up against the wall, pretending that that does anything. Um, Wait, Bobby and style. He, he pulls his pulls his so- cloak in front of him, like to cover <laughs> his face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Asher, so just, uh, just uh, go ahead. So you know, like she's trying to get to a place where if they run in, she can shut the door behind them. That's kind of where she's casually leaning against oh the, you know what i mean a- like asher was trying to like shimmy that way i think to like also do that i, I think that the, probably all of this happened in a way that was uh, quite fast and i don't think you really had time to get there um so you're still standing like near the throne the the oh, big okay. chair uh where the the body of uh, both men is nearby uh, behind the table F- like cool. on the opposite side of the room from the from the guards but they're okay. still like they're still out and around and i think it's just you two uh standing there asher has hidden and keth is poorly hidden uh Gibetto's behind the door so he is uh they don't know he's there but he did get hit by it okay great what's up guys where is the steward oh he is taking a break see we've got our magic pal over here, just taking care of us. You know, uh, Gillick just nods. He doesn't say anything. Roll a deception check. Okay. <laughs> uh, Genevera. Oh. Oh, okay. Um. You got this. Seventeen. Deception check on your nod. <laughs> right. Exactly. Seventeen. The two guards look at each other, and the the one that uh, you spoke to before says. Heaven. We were what? <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, Kevin. Heaven. <laughs> uh, heaven says we've been watching the door, uh, Your Majesty. That's that's not adding up. No, no, no. He's just like taking a break back here. He's just lying on the floor. Yeah, come on over. <laughs> He's ready to talk to you. Uh, heaven moves, motions for the other guard to stay, and moves over to uh, you. Uh, no, it's fine. Both of you can come in or whatever. Like, nothing crazy is going on here. Are they both in the room? Obviously, like, this guy cast an anti-magic field, so if there was any magic happening, <laughs> you'd see it. They're the both guy- in the room. One is the one is still just in the doorway. The other has moved forward. He has his hand on his sword, uh, on the hilt of his sword. Uh, I would like to ready hold the person at level three. Um, and targeting both of those humanoids if they draw their weapons. Okay. Uh, Gibetto, as soon as someone... As soon as they're both clear of the door, is going to slam it shut. Okay. Yeah. And Keth is going to just jump and... on the closest enemy. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just kidding, suckers. And she whips the mask off. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot happening at once here. So, uh I'm so excited. <laughs> the the two people they move into the room, Chibetto slams the door shut. The guard turns and says, "What the?" And then Gillick, 
I mean, uh, Keth jumps uh, out of the poorly guarded or poorly <laughs> hidden corner. Uh, ah, <laughs> uh, it is huh? it you is didn't me. know there was a person here the whole time. Uh, he jumps out of the corner and to attack Heaven. Uh, and then, uh... Wait, does that guy... That guy has to make a deck save or get 13 damage from a door. <laughs> no, because he's not between the wall and the door. And he's also not at, like, doorknob level. Yeah, yeah, this was, this was because you this got... This, like, got you in the throat. Yeah, yeah, you tried to get sandwiched and you got crushed. That's why you took damage. It's They're not getting sandwiched. <laughs> 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 you're right uh that's my argument I'm, well hey how can i what can what can i say to that except fucking nothing <laughs> oh my god this is the worst <laughs> possible gag for us to try i hate this also <laughs> this okay. is the wor- sorry listeners the worst possible gag <laughs> Nothing worse than that. Uh, I liked it, y'all. I'm yeah. not even sorry. Uh, Anthony's not even gonna cut it. I'm not. I'm not gonna. <laughs> he's cut not it. even gonna joke that he's gonna cut it. I and then won't not cut it. I'm, oh, that's a million dollar bit. I'm leaving oh. it in. We're gonna reference it for the next ten years. Oh, <laughs> all the all the new listeners we got are gone now. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Except for the amateur beatbox enthusiasts. Yeah, they're I super into it. it. Is that what you'd call it? <laughs> yes. Very, very amateur. amateur. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess go ahead and roll an attack. Kath. 18 to hit. Okay, yeah, you hit. Hooray. You surprise maul him. <laughs> <Bonk>. Surprawl. <laughs> Ten damage. Okay. Nineteen to hit. Hits. Twelve damage. Okay. And seventeen to hit. Hits. Eleven damage. Damn. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you just smash him a bunch with the redeemers. He draws his sword. Asher. Boom. They have to make wisdom saving throws of uh, DC sixteen. Uh, heaven fails. The other guy succeeds. The guy who just got clobbered? Negative. So the guy who didn't get... Heaven just got clobbered. Heaven got clobbered. And then failed his save, so he's now held. Cool. Um, He's paralyzed. Now, most importantly, how surprised are they? Oh, he's very surprised. You can make an attack. When Genevera pulls off that mask. Oh, he didn't even notice that. He was looking at you. (laughs) <laughs> Genevieve is a little disappointed. She thought it was a cool moment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, she wh- whips Genevera it off. was impressed, <laughs> and nobody notices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she says a cool one-liner and everything. <laughs> Surprise, motherfuckers! And everyone's like, "Busy, hey, look, they're just busy. <laughs> yeah. I'm not surprised, actually. So <laughs> I, uh, I felt like this was a trap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> we congratulate Gibetto on being so surprising. And not. <laughs> Gibetto, go ahead and uh, do whatever you're going to do. Yeah, uh, he just. Murder. Right, stick someone real good. Okay. With, uh, with, with the unseen blade. Uh, and that is a 30 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that hits. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see. That does a fistful of damage. Oh, actually, not that much. This is like the worst roll I've ever had. Yeah. It's not usually like this, I swear. <laughs> it's a, it, and, very unimpressive attack. He's not even mad. <laughs> 22 damage. Okay. Uh, you stab him. He's like, ah! Uh, and <laughs> he's just sort of offended by it. Um <laughs> Gillick, we're, we're going to jump to you. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Gillick still looks like the halfling and is going to wave his hands in the air just like <laughs> wild. Right, exactly. Exactly. Uh, he will cast command on uh, the dude on uh, Not Heaven. Okay. 
uh, and tell him to drop his weapon if he, he missed make a DC 16 uh, wisdom saving throw. Does wow, hold this guy's got an iron will. Really? Yeah. Does he... hold, hold person end now? No. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, he doesn't... He You command him to drop his weapon. Uh, his attention snaps to you. He finally sees Genevera, uh, which, give, which startles him. Uh, but he does not drop his weapon. Nuts. Uh, I guess that's my turn. <laughs> Genevera, it's your turn. All right, she is going to cast Scorching Ray on Not Heaven. Okay. Hell. <laughs> She's yep. going to cast three Scorching Rays on Hell. Kel Hell. Kel Hell. Kevin and Kel Hell. <laughs> Keenan. <That is> a... <laughs> it should have been Keenan. Nope. <laughs> we were nope. so close, Anthony. <laughs> Why did you take this from us? 29, 18, and 16. Uh, all three blasts hit Kel Hell. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Nice Foley work. You're welcome. Tight, tight, tight. <laughs> tight, 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 tight. 28. 28. Okay. Uh, yeah, you s- uh, slam these blasts of fire energy into him, uh, burning him up, but he still seems to be standing, though he looks very hurt. Uh, he r- runs forward with the blade and takes a swing at you, Jennifer. When he leaves my area. Yeah, you get an attack. Hell yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, That is a 25 to hit. That hits. Great. No sneak Uh, attack on this. Is there anybody? Right. Okay. Uh, That is 14 damage. Okay. Yep. Uh, Yeah, you catch him uh, in the back of the leg, and he's startled again. He really did not have good battle awareness in this. Uh, He was just too focused on (laughs) maintaining his will, uh, but not on his uh, perception. Um, But he still charges forward to Genevera and makes a swing with his blade. He hits. For 15 slashing damage. All right. Um, ow. Keth, it's your turn. Keth is going, still going after heaven. Okay, so he's he is held, so I think you so get... He, yeah, you get advantage on attacks against him, and if you hit and are within five feet, which you will be, it's an auto crit. Fuck yeah. 27 to hit. Uh, you crit. <clears throat> just roll and double it and then add a modifier. No, no. So you do your maximum weapon damage, then you roll on top of that, and then you add your modifier. And don't 21 forget that damage. You, that you're a half orc, so you get bonuses on crits. What's the bonus? I don't remember. Oh, it's a roll, re-roll the weapon. Uh, 22 damage. Okay, yeah, you just smash uh, Heaven in the face, um, and we'll find out if he lived up to his virtue name. I don't know. I feel like I subdued him very well. (laughs) Okay, fine. He's subdued. (laughs) (laughs) All right, the other one, I rolled a nat one for the follow-up attack. You still have um, advantage against him. Oh, he's held as well. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't realize... Is well, I thought he... Down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's unconscious. Oh, never mind. So my weapon triggers, and then, um... Yeah, I crit failed the attack with the pillar. Okay. But I would... Can I do key if I so yeah. terribly swung? Okay. So I'll do key and uh, attack hell. For 21, 21 to hit. I'll try 21 hits. Him down. 10, da- 10 damage, though. So I'd, l- I'd like to knock him down. Uh, okay, yeah. The, so he has to make a strength saving throw? Yeah. He he succeeds. Fuck this Ooh. guy. Damn. <laughs> He's a monster. I, I think I was so impressed with that that my second flurry of blows was a 13 to hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just 
What the fuck? You, you didn't go down? <laughs> He's like, no! Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done attacking him. I'm so impressed. Yeah, Gibetto, no, it's... Like a tank. <laughs> yeah, it's your turn. Great. Um... Yeah. Uh, Gibetto's going to try and subdue him with the uh with the hilt of the unseen blade, uh try to carry L's him. <laughs> uh, do you think you think you can do it because, just cuz carry L's did? Uh, I think I can do it, but I didn't fuck carry L's. <laughs> Adventure Incorporated. <laughs> Anything carry L's can do, we can do better. <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead and... he's and held, right? <laughs> make an attack. Great. This is the held person? Uh, negative. Oh, okay. This is just the one Kath was just fighting, so... Yeah, he, he knocked out the held one and moved on. Yes. Okay. Uh, 27 to hit. 27 hits. Great. Give me that fistful of dice. You do get sneak attack on this because Kath Kel- is right there. Oh, uh, don't I know it. All right, that's better. Thirty-three damage. <laughs> yeah, you knock him unconscious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get him right. Crack at the base him of the in the neck. back of the head. Dunk. He falls out down into a slump. Yeah. Nice. <sighs> All right. So, uh-huh. new plan. New plan. Yeah, new yeah, plan. Yeah, looks like we're going to need a new plan, y'all. Hey adventurers, DM Anthony here again. I just want to remind you that there are lots of ways to support the show. Head on over to patreon.com slash adventure inc. Tell your friends about the show. Rate and review us on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Links and more can be found at adventureinc.podbean.com. Thanks everyone, we'll see you next week.